Mob Essentials, how to lock a period or unlock a period uh, once you have, say, lodged your business activity statement, you have uh, reconciled your bank account, for example, your credit cards, and you don't want people or yourself accidentally going into those prior periods that are reported on. So all we do is we click on our name at the top right and we go to Business Details. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a lock date. So we simply tick Prevent Changes prior to lock date and uh, choose from the calendar there where we want to lock up to. So let's say that we've reconciled and done everything uh, up to and including July. So importantly there, we want to choose the 1st of August um, prior to that date. So we've, we've done all our July figures, we've reconciled the bank accounts, perhaps we've done our, our payroll installment activity statement, and we hit save. And now if I go to my dashboard, and let's say I want to enter a, a payment um, that's come up late on my credit card, and it's dated say the 30th of July, and it's to uh, say Telstra. So I put in the supplier Telstra. Um, if they're not in there, I'll just set them up. Telstra, spelled that wrong. Hit save. And I'll choose telephone in the account. And I'll enter $55. When I hit record, you'll see an error message come up. You can't record transactions before the lock date. So, uh, of course, if I did want to enter that bill, I'd it come through on my statement, say, uh, on the 2nd of August, I'd already reconciled um, and lodged the BAS for that period, then I would need to date this in the new period. Um, otherwise, I need to do things like amend business activity statements, and you don't want to be doing that. So I'd enter it in the new period and hit record. Mm -hmm.